পিনহাই মহাকাশ গবেষণা ক্ষেত্র যুগর আরম্ভ হয়েছি প্রথম ঘরোই রকেট বর্তমানে আপনারা দেখি পড়ছেন দেশের প্রথম ঘরোই রকেট উৎক্ষেপণ করা যাইছি মহাকাশর আউ কিছু সময় পরে ইহা উৎক্ষেপণ করা যাব প্রথম ঘরোই রকেট যা আপনারা দেখি পড়ছেন স্কাই রুট এরোস্পেস পক্ষের ইহার নির্মাণ করা যাচ্ছে তিনটি ঘরোই স্যাটেলাইট মহাকাশ কু পঠা যাচ্ছে প্রথম ঘরোই রকেট মহাকাশ গবেষণা ক্ষেত্র নুগর আরম্ভ দেশের প্রথম ঘরোই রকেট উৎক্ষেপণ হয়েছি এবং আউ কিছু সময় পরে এখন উৎক্ষেপণ করা যাব I think I should have, be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the Mission right. Control Center where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket. The views from the launcher camera. In a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly the vehicle will experience q max around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur just to remind the viewers this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle at tw 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark 5 which means it is flying at 5 times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities It looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction. Rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers, 67 now. We have completed 80 seconds of flight time. We are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed. The present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 86 kilometers in altitude we are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude uh, if you can see it on the screens the um, altitude profile is being shown around 133 seconds have passed we are very close to the, our peak altitude we are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude and uh, uh, everything has gone as per we have planned we are very close to the peak altitude now the peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds and now slowly the rocket will start its descent actually it has just started from 88 kilometers now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer the peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good dekh paru chanti sky route aerospace pakhar nirman jo gharoi rocket jutkhepan kara jai parichi ebang jo nua jugor arambha boli kuha jauchi mahakash gabeshana khetra re हायद्राद उत्क्षेपण श्रीहरिकोटा स्थित सतीश धवन महाकाश गवेषणा केन्द्र उत्क्षेपण होती हायद्राद रूट एरोस्पेस पक्ष निर्माण गोटे नुगर इतिहास कारण नुग आरंभ कारण पूरापूरी पार घर रकेट जहां कि जो आत्मनिर्भरशील भारत कहता क्षेत्र में आउ एक बड़ पदक्षेप एवं ए क्षेत्र में स्काय रूट एरोस्पेस पक्ष निर्माण मिशन जदि सफल तबे भारत में प्रथम घर कंपानी भाव महाकाश को यह रकेट उत्क्षेपण कर भारत रकेट लंच कर देश गुड़िक भाई सामिल हो as we intended and now after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is it is on its way back 
to a safe splash down in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unke pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha jo humne plan kiya tha wo hum successful rahe और अब ये रॉकेट अपने स्प्लैश डाउन के बहुत ही नजदीक है और हम किसी भी क्षण अब स्प्लैश डाउन के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली अकम्पलिश हो जाएगा हम यहां पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू Good bye from our side. Handing over to Sri Pawan Goenka, Chairman in Space, for his speech. Thank you, viewers. Good bye. Thank you, viewers, for joining us. We sign off. Very good. Ah, Satish Dhawan Mahakas. गवेषण केन्द्र देखि पारे जो भली भाव में उत्क्षेपण कर प्रथम घर रकेट एवं जदि ये मिशन सफल होती भारत आउ एक पहाच आग को बढ़ु कारण नुआ जुगर आरंभ कर महाकाश गवेषणा क्षेत्र में कारण पूरापूरी घर रकेट और हाइद्राबाद संस्था जो रही स्काय रुट एरोस्पेस पक्ष निर्माण the beginning of a sky route aerospace the rocket vks took off at lea of 80 degrees and azimuth of 100 degrees by sky route aerospace all systems as i can make out worked as planned and sky route aerospace has demonstrated capability of various subsystems that will go into the orbital launch vehicle i congratulate sky route aerospace their team members and thank various centers of isro specifically sdsc strac and vssc team members of in space led by director pma dr jain and director technical mr rajiv jyoti and many thanks to multiple reviews conducted by experts from isro in space and from outside uh, for the mission readiness the technical mr rajiv jyoti and many thanks to multiple reviews conducted by experts from isro in space and from outside uh, for the mission readiness and launch uh, uh, clearance led by dr b suresh this is a new beginning for indian private sector entry into space and is a historic moment for all of us we have the pleasure of having honorable minister of state dr jitendra singh here with us to give us encouragement and i request him to give his thoughts on what this today's mission means for our country dr singh congratulations india it is indeed a new beginning a new dawn and i shall i say very appropriately as our team members have put it a new prarambha in the journey of india's space program and very many thanks to honorable prime minister modi ji who has made this effort possible by opening up the space sector to public private participation it's also a, a major step forward 
to India developing its own space ecosystem and emerging as a frontline nation in the community of world nations. And of course, a turning point in India's startup movement. Well done, Team Skyroot. The co-founders can join me here. Pavan, IIT Khadakpur alumni, Bharat, IIT Madras alumni, who have worked day and night to make this possible. And of course, kudos ISRO. You have this day on the 18th of November 2022 added yet one more feather into your much decorated hat. And thanks, thanks ISRO for putting India as a frontline nation in the years to come and a nation to which others would look forward to vital cues in the journey of space sector. Thanks once again. Congratulations. Congratulations everybody. Well done. And I request uh, Pawan Chandana, Mission Director for Praramba Mission and also co-founder of Skyroot uh, to talk about what it took to reach up to this point. And Bharat is the co-founder of, uh, of Skyroot, he is also here. Honorable Un Union Minister of State, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, Secretary Department of Space, Dr. Somnath Ji, Chairman in Space, Dr. Pawan Goenka Ji, Director Shar, Director VSSC, respected guests, our colleagues, and everyone watching this online. We are very excited to announce that we scripted history today by successfully launching India's first privately developed rocket, Vikram Yes. The vehicle reached space to an altitude of 89.5 kilometers and completed the required mission objectives. This Praram mission, as the name signifies, is the beginning of a new...